Hey guys, what is up? Hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to see Leah Thomas attacks women who don't want to compete with him. If you don't know who Leah Thomas uh, is, he is uh, 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 what do you call it? A swimmer. An Olympic? I don't know if it's Olympic, but a swimmer. Who competes with women in a women division and he won it all but he's not competing as a he he's competing as a she and he uh want her, her name to be leah thomas so that's him so and that's him but you can see that the, in the, the video yeah it's pretty pretty insane so let's just let's just see where it's going from that okay and it's it got a lot of balls to say that you see what I've done there? Like, like, don't, who don't want to compete with him? Like, attacks them? Okay, come on, you, you got a lot of holes. Come on, let's just see it. Leah Thomas is one of the main people who sparked this whole trans athletes in sports conversation. Should the men play with the men? Should the women play with the women? And obviously, in my opinion, the answer is yes. The biological women should play with the biological women and the, the same for the men. You know, it should just be like that for the safety of everyone, for the fairness of, of everyone. Course. It should just uh, be like course. that. I think it's kind of common sense. But like everyone likes to say, common sense isn't so common anymore. And Leah Thomas <laughs> yeah. kind of disappeared for a while, kind of stopped talking in public, kind of stopped doing interviews. And all of a sudden, Leah Thomas is back appearing on interviews like crazy here is a clip from leah thomas it's it's a wild one leah thomas appears and this is by the way from ollie london's twitter account on leah podcast, thomas appears on a podcast interview trying to push for men to be allowed in women's sports ahead of biden administration's push to amend title nine let's check out this clip from leah thomas leah as a woman as a trans woman whatever we respect her identity but we just don't think it's fair you can't really have that that sort of half support where you're like oh i respect her as a woman here but not here there you what if i told you I don't respect your identity. I'm not a feminist. <laughs> I don't like feminism at all. And I still think that you shouldn't be in, in women's sports because you are a man. Uh, what if I told you that? Yeah. Did, would that make it more plausible? Using the guise uh, of feminism to sort of push transphobic uh, beliefs. And I think a lot of people in that camp sort of carry an implicit bias against trans people but don't want to, I guess, fully manifest or, or speak that out. And so they try to just play it off as this sort of half support. They think about how twisted feminism, quote unquote, feminism has become. Their arguments, you know, in order to exclude anybody in the trans category, you have to reduce women to reproductive capacity, which is, in my opinion, extremely anti-feminist. I don't want to put those women down. It's not reducing them to, to reproductive oh capacity. God. Yeah. It's, it's reducing them to being biologically female, being yeah. bi biologically yeah, yeah, women. Yeah. Like that, it's so easy, it's such common sense, but once again, it's not so common. But it's just simply for the safety of people, for the uh, fairness and safety like, of people. It's, it's... I mean, look what's happening in women's MMA fighting. Like there's serious, serious injuries, cracked skulls, like multiple. I'm pretty sure one person who was identifying as female or was identifying as a woman was, was participating in women's MMA and cracked multiple skulls. Whoa. Like this is, it's an extremely serious safety hazard. Yeah. And it needs to be discussed. This person, they're, they're both wearing shirts. They say trans people belong in sports and nobody's saying the other, like nobody's saying the contrary. Nobody's saying that trans people can't play sports. Just play in the, in the sport, in the, in the category that you that are you biologically are. born into. Yeah. And then we have no issue at all. The issue is whenever you try to cross over and you never yeah. see it the other way. You never see women trying to compete in male sports. I wonder why that is. Why do you think that is? It's yeah. because it's extremely hard for women to compete in male sports. It's almost impossible, especially at a high level, at a collegiate level or professional level. It's pretty much impossible yeah. for a woman to transition to a male and go and compete in male sports. Yeah. It's pretty much impossible. It's just yeah. not going to work. It's going to be a safety hazard. It's going to be unfair. That's why they don't do it that way. But for some reason, even though we know that women going to men's sports is a safety hazard and extremely unfair to the woman, so they don't do it. But we allow the men to go into the women's sports, whereas the top women would never even try to go into the male sports. Yeah. But now the top women are just chilling. They're just minding their own business in their own field. They're just chilling there. And all of a sudden, a top male or a, a mediocre male comes in <laughs> and transitions to women's sports. And, and they're all of a sudden everything. at the top of all the top women who wouldn't even dream of competing against the males because they know better. It doesn't make any sense. It's a safety yeah. hazard. And not, like I said, it's extremely unfair to those women yeah, who yeah, have worked yeah, very yeah. hard to reach their biological peak. 
they can't really get much better once you're at a top professional level or a collegiate level. Yeah. It's hard to get any better than that. They've reached the capacity of the female body to be more athletic. They've reached that capacity, and now a man comes in who has a much higher capacity for the athletic side of things and just ruins the entire sport. Just ruins it every ruins it for everybody, man. So let's check out the rest of this clip and we'll get deeper into that discussion. On either, and I know you don't want don't want to either because I see pain. I, I see pain, and I and the pain is coming from somewhere. It's not you though. It's the patriarchy. And how can we? The pain. The pain is coming from the cracked skulls of the biological women oh who are competing against biological men in MMA. That's where the this pain is, is so coming stupid, from. You're retard. Yeah, it's coming from the patriarchy. The pain is coming from the patriarchy. Dude, everything is the patriarchy's fault. Yeah. The people are ill. Mentally sick. And Ollie London also tweeted this out. I do find this interesting. Have you noticed within the last month, Leah Thomas is suddenly doing multiple interviews pushing Title IX amendments to biological to allow biological men in women's sports? Leah almost never does interviews, and suddenly he is doing back-to-back -back interviews to push for a new law. He is being rolled out as a puppet of the Biden administration to try and convince Ooh. Americans that the law needs to be changed to allow men and women's sports. Ooh. It could be the case. It's very interesting. Let me know in the comments if you think that is the case. Ooh. It very much could be. It very well could be the case that Leah Thomas is being yeah. used by the Biden administration to push Title IX going forward. This meme is very true. A lot of the funniest what things the in the world, world are the most truthful things. And this is definitely one of the most truthful things. Shout out to this person, Vera <laughs> Daddy. Yeah. 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 The, the, the woman. The. the, the uh, uh, Leah and that uh, what is name what is his name I really I really I really I really what is his name I Mulvaney Dylan Dylan Mulvaney yeah I, I don't know the, the, the third one I really don't know the third one but yeah actual dusk masculinity yeah that's that's that is not it that is not it Ty I'm not sure who this is but i just saw this meme pop up on my timeline and i thought it was very interesting what the world says toxic masculinity is it's a pretty muscular obviously country construction worker or some shit and it has mr vaney and leah thomas and the rest of the people who act very similar to those two it's it, it, true it's true it's very much true especially yeah. the leah thomas one i'll be real it, it, that's actual toxic yeah. masculinity because it's propagating a narrative that is a danger and she's to taking women. It's everything a danger to biological women it just is there's no there's no way of getting around it you can't get past it your argument is defeated whenever you look at the cracked skulls yeah. by the mma fighters yeah. it, it's just it is what it is and the fact that you are a very mediocre male and then you transition to women's sports and you, you're just the best. You're the best swimmer in the world. You win <laughs> everything. You make it totally unfair for everybody else who's been working their entire life to compete in that space, to be the best in that space. And because you have a higher biological athletic capacity than the women do because you're a male, yeah. you, you transition over to the women's sports and you completely dominate them. It's unfair. It's, it's unfair. unfair. It's unfair unsafe, to the it, limit. It to you know, it's down. unfair. This whole conversation needs to be shut down. Yeah. The trans athletes belong in sports thing is completely cringe to even wear that shirt because I don't think anybody is saying to the contrary anything to the contrary i'm not at least i don't know about you in the comments let me know in the comments i'm not saying anything to the contrary you can be in sports nobody cared yeah. when you were in sports previously yeah. you know nobody cared when leah thomas was competing against the men and coming in last place every swim nobody cared <laughs> because we weren't saying that trans athletes don't belong in sports we were just saying that male athletes don't belong competing against female athletes because it is yeah. unfair and unsafe that's all I'm saying here. Yeah. Let me know what you guys think, though. Do you agree with me that trans athletes do belong in sports just in their own biological categories? Or do you think that they shouldn't belong in yeah, sports yeah, at yeah. all? Let me know what you guys think. Are they fighting ghosts here? I think they're fighting ghosts here when it comes to these shirts. But, you know, it, it's probably they probably made a lot of money off that. It's of probably course. a pretty good grip. Of I'll be course, real with you. they're going to make a could, lot of money off this. Leave a like on the video. I would really appreciate it. If you could, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on what Leah Thomas had to say. He's back with a vengeance. He's back spewing <laughs> spewing some new BS this time. <laughs> Blaming it on the patriarchy once again. The hatred, the anger is coming from somewhere. It's coming from the patriarchy. Yeah, of According course. Cringe Lord right here. Of Let me know course. you guys think though in the bit comments. It, bit it on the better. About the whole situation. Okay. I'm going to tell you right now something, okay? Uh, we, uh, we're not saying that trans people, they should not be in sport. We're not saying that. But if you want to be in sport, either be against the person like what like how did you how did you form a female or a male so compete at that division and if you don't want to do that uh, just go and make a transport and then compete in it so you're gonna be the best transporter ever okay uh, transformer i don't know yeah, yeah, yeah. So there, so you, you like you like go for the world uh, cup of trans people. You know, I don't know, like. Uh, uh, but do you know why this is like very very hard 
because there is not such a thing and there's no will there's and never will be you know because okay to, to, to sport to do well they have to put ads okay so in the men's sport like the, a lot of men athlete takes a lot a lot of money because there's a lot of people seeing the sport so when the ad is placed in in the in the field or anything they're gonna see the the ad there's a lot of people who's gonna see the ad so that's why they give them more money but in the women's sport the it's low 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 cool. like like not not as much high as the male but it's 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 fair so yeah but if they did a transport uh there's not gonna be any like how many how many uh companies do you do you think like okay yeah we 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 we, we support trans people and yeah we're gonna do everything for them do you see what happened with with the with the uh, what is that with the beer with the Bud Light? Or, 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 yeah, yeah, I think that is. Yeah, uh, yeah. So he, they did. The, the Dylan Mulvaney d did very very big damage to that like beer uh, company. So yeah. Uh, so please, please, it's just only logical. Stay in your lane. That's it. That's what we want. We don't want to harm the the fem the, the, the female. You know, don't want to harm the women. And by the way, we are being feminist. To, to doing so, to believing in, okay, trans people or trans women, they were male and then they become a woman. They shouldn't be in, in, in women's sport because they're going to take all the trophies, the monies, and, and even maybe they're going to harm them. So that is not good. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed my reaction to this one. If you did, you know what to do. Subscribe, leave a like, and I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.